So you're wondering what this is? Yeah. Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you. So selecting papaya is kind of tricky. This one, by the way, is perfectly right. You don't want to waste anything that costs you money. I know you got some of that common sense. So here we go. Uh, just going to start by removing the top and the bottom like this and then I'm going to peel it. Now quite often I stand it up and I peel it with my knife. It's pretty fast, pretty efficient, but food's expensive. So here, let's, let's get real. Uh, this is made in, what the hell? Uh, this is one of my favorite peelers, by the way. We got a ton of different peelers laying around here. Chefs are using everything imaginable. Made in Sweden. Shit. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Look at this thing. I mean, it just peels so nice, so easy, that uh, I go to this one most of the time. So I'm peeling it because, with the peeler, because this thing's perfectly right. So if it was uh, high production, I'm busy, uh, yeah, I'm going to use a knife. But... You know, I got a little time on my hands. I figured I'd show you another way of doing it. And uh, if you revert back to some of the other videos, you'll find papayas and some of the other ones too. But look at that. That baby's perfectly clean. It's all perfect edible food. A little bit of waste. Not even uh, two ounces maximum as well. So, uh, moving on. I'm going to just quickly garnish this and then slice it up. So I'm going to set it down like this. I'm using a channel knife. If you don't have one, your sponsor's got them. I'm just going to run this channel knife along here a few times like this to create a pattern. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm all about the patterns. Patterns are cool. Chicks dig them. Customers like them. So what the heck? Give them some patterns. Here we go. I'm just running the... Uh, channel knife down. Sometimes you find you get a better angle if you spin the food around. Uh, watch yourself. If you get a good one of these channel knives, these things are sharp. So, here we go. I'm all done. Of course, this is not a uh, waste right here. This is a pretty cool nest or julienne of papaya. That's a first right there, I think, huh? Okay. And then moving on, I'm going to uh, finish up here for you. So this is a beautiful piece of fruit. I'm going to simply start at one end, and I'm going to make myself a nice slice like this. Right there. That's the garnish. Yeah. And then I'm going to repeat, kind of like this, all the way down. Uh, you guys get a little more proficient with your knives. You're going to get fast like this, too. And just uh, keep your fingers rolled back, whatever you do. I don't want any of my students to lose fingers. However, said this before, I'll say it again. Uh, you were given 10. If you lose one, you're still going to get by. Anyway, uh, that's the garnish right there. Uh, tell me what you think. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Yeah, that's probably a first on YouTube. And uh, well, I like to throw out a few firsts every now and then. So there you go. I'm going to give you a close up like share subscribe have a great day ah papaya garnish oh yeah you can score all your high quality garnishing tools at the sponsor and this is not the crap the other guys are selling uh you've seen it all over the place you know for ten dollars twenty dollars it's a bunch of crap uh, this is made in Germany, high quality, the peeler is Sweden, I showed you that, the scoops, the channel knife, this is all German, uh, this stuff's made to last, people, and uh, of course, the case, too, you gotta have a nice roll-up case, so this is very important that you have the right tools. Thanks for watching, support your sponsor, have a great day.